All right, Dan and Peter. So, the NFC has found its representative for the Super Bowl. We welcome everybody back to our ESPN studios for a special edition of the ESPN Video Games Post Game Report. I'm Chris Berman. The 49ers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started on this one early in the first quarter. Randy Moss came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 57-yard touchdown for the 49ers. The 49ers get the first points of the game and go up by seven. The Falcons come right back. Number 83 was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 66-yard touchdown for the Falcons. 49ers early in the first quarter, game tied, seven all. Number seven connected with his man on this one. Falcons midway through the first, number two would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Game tied, seven all. Number seven would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a 35-yard field goal. After driving 46 yards on eight plays, Matt Bryant sets up the field goal attempt from just about the parking lot. Got a lot of leg, though. He's got it. Connect on the field goal. 49ers still early in the second quarter. Game tied, 10 all. Asante Samuel shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Falcons middle of the second. Number 22 was able to step in front of this pass and pick one off but he wasn't done there. Touchdown for the 49ers. Game time, 17 all. Number 54 would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Falcons, after getting an interception, number two would find his target on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Falcons are keeping it evened up. We're tied, 17 all. Late in the third quarter, number seven needed to be on target here, and he was. A five-yard touchdown for the 49ers. The Falcons on defense, the ball at the 31-yard line. Number 22 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Falcons behind by seven. Number 38 would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. They move ahead by 14. The Falcons have it again. Number two connected with his man on this one. An 11-yard touchdown for the Falcons. And that's where we'll leave this one. Niners win this one at the next stop, the Super Bowl. Your final score, 31 to 24. Now let's check in with our player of the game. A guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Randy Moss is standing by with our Susie Calvert. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You played great today, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? Yeah, to be honest, you know, we just came together as a team real well today. My teammates all helped me out a lot, and uh, I'm playing with a great cast of characters alongside me. I'm just happy to get the W, and now we've got to move on and look ahead. Chris, back to you. All right, gang. So the AFC champs have been crowned as we welcome everybody back to our ESPN studios. I'm Chris Berman as we get you ready for a special edition of the ESPN Video Games Post Game Report. The Patriots stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Number 39 found a little opening, that was all he needed. A five yard touchdown for the Patriots. The Patriots strike first and go up by seven. Patriots midway through the first, ball at their own 44 yard line. Number 39 bounces this one to the outside and he's gonna get some room to maneuver out there. A 56-yard touchdown for the Patriots. Patriot towards the end of the first quarter, Pats up by 14. Number 39 on the carry here as they work the ground game. This is a nice run. They've opened it up now, and now lead by 21. Patriots late in the second quarter. Number 34 got the carry here, and he comes through. A one-yard touchdown for the Patriots. Pats winning 28 to nothing. Number 31 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. After driving seven yards on three plays, number three gets the call as they can't punch it into the end zone, but the short field goal is up and good. Connect on the field goal, and that's where we'll leave this one. Pats are up big at halftime, 31 to nothing. 
would pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Number five would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. After driving 45 yards on nine plays, number three would be summoned for the long field goal try. His kick would be right through. Connect on their second field goal. The Ravens answering right back. Ravens losing by 34. Number 27 is going to take this one to the outside. And once he gets the corner, it's a foot race. Close the gap some, now down by 27. The Pats on D, number 21, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Pats up 34 to 7. Number 5 would find his target on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Pats serve up a blowout 34 to 7. Now let's talk to a player who is instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Number 39 is on the sidelines with Susie Culver. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You played great today, and your team bulldozed to a runaway victory. What was the key to your success? Our offense was really in rhythm tonight, moving the ball well, putting points on the board. They were having a tough time stopping us. We executed our offense the way we needed it to get this win. Chris, back to you. That winds up our presentation of the AFC Conference Championship on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.